Hi, I'm Paula Ward and this is Easy Knitting Design. This video is part two of round neck shaping. Now I'm going to work an example using Nikki's numbers. The distance from the top neck edge to the underarm bind off is eight inches. Her back neck width is seven inches and there's a one inch ribbing around the neckline. The front neck depth is three and a half inches. So top neck to underarm is eight inches. Now the neck depth is this three and a half inches plus the one inch of ribbing because we want our neck opening to be this wide. So that will be three and a half plus one is four and a half inches. So we're going to subtract that and we get three and a half inches for our underarm to neckline distance. In other words, from this yarn up to the bottom of our neckline. So we'll start our neckline three and a half inches from the underarm bind off. Next, we'll skip ahead to number three and figure out our neck edge decreases. Our row gauge is six and a half rows to the inch. Now if we multiply those, we're going to get 29 and a quarter rows in our neck depth. We want to round that to the nearest even number, so that becomes 30 rows. So we're going to work 30 decreases along our neck edge. We divide that 30 by 2 to tell us we're going to work 15 decreases on each side, or rather each side of the neck edge, on every knit row. So now we can fill in number three. Decrease one stitch each neck edge on knit rows 15 times. Now we want to find out how many stitches in our neck opening. We're going to take that seven inches, add an inch on either side for our neck ribbing to get nine inches for our neck opening. Now we want to convert that to stitches by multiplying it by our stitch gauge of 4.8 stitches to the inch. That gives us 43.2 stitches. Now we want to round this number to an odd or even number depending on the number of stitches in our yoke. We had 90 stitches in the front and I decreased 11 stitches on each side to shape the armhole so 11 plus 11 is 22. So I have 68 stitches left in my yoke even number. I want this to be an even number. I'm rounding this to 44 stitches. Now I want to subtract my two selvage stitches. So I get 42 stitches in my neck opening. I'm going to subtract the 30 stitches that I worked on my neck edge decreases and that will give me 12 stitches that I'm going to put on my stitch holder in the center. Place 12 center stitches on holder and now we're ready to knit. If you want to know how many stitches to knit in that first neckline row before you put the center stitches on a holder, take the number of yoke stitches, subtract the number of stitches that go on the holder, and divide that number by 2. Here we have 68 yoke stitches minus our 12 center stitches gives us 56 stitches. Divided by 2 gives us 28. So on our first knit row, we will knit 28, put 12 center stitches on a holder, and knit the remaining 28. In round neck part three, I'll show you the knitting for this neckline. 